division next season. Instead, they'll continue playing in Division 2. The tribunal said that the original punishment was unfair to Swindon's innocent supporters. For weeks, Swindon supporters had travelled the country desperately trying to get their message across. Today, they faced an eight-hour wait to hear whether their club would receive an 11th-hour reprieve and be allowed to take its place in the first division. But first, Swindon officials arrived to face more questions over the club's admission of 35 counts of making irregular payments to players. Finally, the FA Appeals Tribunal emerged with its verdict. Though the offences had been grave, so too had the original punishment. Swindon would drop not to the third, but to the second division. It was the best they could reasonably have hoped for. Now we have to start again in the second division and uh, we are going to prove in the next season that we are able to do it all over again. Are you hopeful that you will be able to retain most of your players? <clears throat> I can't see why reason why not. So you're planning to stay at Swindon? Yes. I've travelled 3,700 miles and the petition was used in evidence and the photographs of all the dignitaries in football. So yes, they've definitely listened to the fans up and down the country. Relief then for Swindon that this long saga is now at an end. And tonight, Sunderland can start preparing for first division football next season. Disappointment though for Tranmere Rovers, they'll have to stay in the third. Decision to move Swindon Town back up to the second division. David Passmore reports from the appeal hearing in London. The decision is good news for Swindon Town. Even though some fans feel the only rightful place for the team is in the first division, Others were fearful that the Football Association would be reluctant to overturn the league's original decision. But then, late this evening, came this announcement. In that Swindon Town FC be demoted one division, i.e. to the second division for the 1990-91 season. And afterwards, manager Ozzy Ardelius confirmed he would be staying with the club. Uh, now we have to start again in the second division and uh, we are going to prove in the next season that we are able to do it all over again. I think the FA, to some extent, have fudged the issue. They should have had the courage to put Swindon Town back in Division 1, in my opinion, and I'm sure many supporters would share that view. But on the other hand, we're in the second division, not the third. We've an excellent base to go forward, and if we can repeat the performances of the season just ended, then I'm sure that 1991-92, uh, we will be in Division 1 where we, be, where we belong. It's been overturned by an FA Board of Appeal. Instead, the club, who won promotion to the first division at the end of last season, have been ordered to remain in the second. It's thought Tranmere Rovers will not now be promoted to the third. Despite Swindon fans' vigil outside today's hearing, the club's hopes for first division football next season effectively disappeared today, though they won't go down to the third either, as the Football League has decided they should. Instead, the three-man FA board reached a compromise. The club's promotion would be reversed. In that Swindon Town FC be demoted one division, i.e. to the second division for the 1990-91 season. Immediately after the announcement, Swindon's chairman said he was sure his board would accept the decision and later paid tribute to the club's supporters who'd campaigned so strongly. Unless you live in Swindon and district, you just can't believe what they've done and what they've organised and what they've been through. Uh, and I think it's a tremendous credit. I think they've won today. Swindon's manager said it meant he would stay with the club. I believe that it was the best that we could, that we could achieve. So we have won today uh, just another battle, and uh, I'm very happy to be in the second division next season. But some of the fans who travelled to London weren't so pleased. Well, I think the decision was basically a sellout. I thought the first decision was an injustice to Swindon supporters. I think this decision is an injustice to all football supporters. I'm a Leeds United supporter, not a Swindon Town supporter. I came down here to see justice done, and it hasn't been. Sunderland, not Swindon, will now go to Division 1, and Tranmere Rovers will stay in the third. Their reaction tonight? Acute disappointment, annoyance at the way it's been handled, and a call for the FA and the Football League to get their act together to amalgamate. With Division 1 status snatched from their grasp, today's decision was still a disappointment for Swindon fans too. Stuart Maester, News at 10, Central London. Swindon Town will be in the second division next season. An FA appeal decided the club, which made irregular payments to players, will not be demoted to Division 3. Swindon had won their way to Division 1 before the Football League punishment. Tonight that changed. And now we have to start again in the second division and uh, we are going to prove in the next season that we are able to do it all over again. So you're planning to stay at Swindon? Yes.
that we feel that we have had a fair hearing today and we are delighted by that uh, and the supporters back in Swindon um, I mean we all perhaps just hope that we may be allowed to retain our first division status that has not happened but we've done it once and there isn't any reason that we can't do it again as results of the appeal reached Swindon this was the reaction of club captain Colin Calderwood obviously it's a hundred percent better than the third but I still feel a little bit grieved. The, the implications of staying in the second division has obviously got to hold the team in good stead. Uh, third division, I couldn't see any way of the team staying together in, in its present form. Fans had gathered at the ground and heard the result with mixed views. We think we've been conned, not only going to Wembley, but we were conned today over the, over the decision because we feel we should be back in the first division where we properly belong. I think the board should go, definitely the board should go. Go to the elite court, take it to the elite court, go all the way. And why don't we just stick in the second division, fight it next season and prove that we are the best team and we can get win promotion fairly to the first division. One fan burned the shirt he'd worn to Swindon's Wembley victory. The Swindon Town saga was reaching its last chapter today and as ever the club's supporters were in the front line this time lobbying all who arrived for the FE appeal hearing at a West End hotel. They've got to listen. If not, then the Football League, as we know it, I'm sorry, we need a new Football League in this country. Just minutes before the hearing began, manager Ozzy Ardealers was summoned to the front door to receive a cheque for £10,000 from the people of Thamesdown. A welcome boost for morale. The three-man FA Commission will be examining all the circumstances surrounding Swindon's admission of 36 counts of making irregular payments to players. What the FA have got to decide is whether the original punishment, as Swindon claim, was harsh, oppressive and against natural justice. If the appeal fails, Sunderland will take Swindon's place in Division 1.